Hey, I'm Donald Bell, and this is a crash course in finding the best shopping deals online for Cyber Monday. With these tools, you can save some serious money and maybe even score some free shipping. Now, the best deals out there require some patience. We hear a lot of talk about Black Friday and Cyber Monday, but the truth is there's deals to be had year-round if you know what to look for. And that's really the first step. Know what you're looking for. There are plenty of sites out there that offer bargains on things you never knew you needed. Like this one. But there's a good chance you'll end up blowing your budget on juicers and snuggies. One size fits all. So name some products, even if it's something generic like a new TV or a new video game. Having a list will help you stay focused. Next, do some research. If you're looking for a new TV or a tablet or a camera but you don't know where to start, use a site like CNET to check reviews and roundups. Try to become an instant expert on the product category that you're shopping for. Once you've done your homework, it's time to get specific and zero in on the products that you'd be happy with. Let's say that I'm in love with this Canon SX260 point and shoot. It's got great reviews from the critics and users, but it's a little pricey at $349 retail. So the next thing I'll do is get a basic idea of what the street price is. Sites like google.com slash shopping or price grabber will let me plug in the product name and show me all the different prices from around the web. But to take things to the next level, you can install a browser extension that will show you price comparisons for anything you're shopping for on the web. Two great options for this are Invisible Hand and Price Blink. I've got Price Blink installed here on my computer, and it picked up an eBay Buy It Now offer on that camera for $222 plus free shipping. Assuming it's new and the seller's legit, that sounds like a great deal. But what if you want an amazing deal? Well, if you've got more time than money, you can set up a price alert on any product that will automatically email you when the price drops below a set amount. Sites like Deal News, Price Pinks, or Decide will do exactly that. Once you've tracked down a price you're happy with, there's a good chance you can still nickel and dime that price down a little bit more. If there's a place to enter a coupon code, go to a site like Current Codes, Ebates, or Retail Me Not to see if there's a valid code that you can use. Another way to save some money is to track down a site that will offer you the best price with free shipping. Amazon in particular offers free two-day shipping on many items if you enroll in their Amazon Prime program. But it costs $79 a year, unless you know a few tricks. There's a free one-month trial that you can get from Amazon.com slash Prime, but if you're a parent, Amazon.com slash Mom will give you a three-month trial. And if you're a college student, Amazon.com slash Student will give you a one-year trial. But the best way to get on Prime is to find someone in your family who's already paying for it. Amazon allows up to four family members to share one Prime membership. Of course, they bury this feature under the account settings, but it's there if you look hard enough. Finally, counter to what I said at the beginning of this video, if it's the holidays and the pressure is on and you're stumped for ideas, try a daily deal site. These are clearing houses for random stuff, but the deals are legit, and it can be great when you're at a loss for what to buy someone. Sites like Woot, Cyber Monday, Got a Deal, Slick Deals, and Fat Wallet, they're all worth a shot if you're in a pinch. So there you go, those are my best online shopping tips for the holidays or year round. For CNET.com, I'm Donald Bell. Go spend some money.